welcome to the office of the City Register. This video will show you the ACRIS electronic or e-submission process, assuming you're familiar with how to use ACRIS to prepare tax forms and cover pages for document submission. The topics that we'll go over are how to sign up for e-submission, how to submit electronic copies of your documents, what happens after submission, and tips and suggestions on how to most effectively use the e-submission capabilities of ACRIS. How to sign up. To get started, you'll need the following. A citywide nyc.id account, an ACRIS profile, a document scanner, software capable of producing PDF files, and the ability to make electronic payments, including using a normal paper check as an e-check. Signing up for e-submission is a two-part process. First, initiate a request to become an electronic submitter in ACRIS. Then complete and mail in a paper registration form. Go to nyc.gov ACRIS and click on Begin Using ACRIS. Select Create Tax Forms, Create Cover Pages. Log in with your email address and your password for your nyc.id account. If you don't have one, click Create an Account. Then on the Select ACRIS Profile screen, click on Register for eSubmission. This will open a pop-up window with the question, are you sure you want to initiate a registration for eSubmission? Hit OK. Clicking OK initiates the request to become an eSubmitter and displays a registration form on your screen. You can print this form now, or you can close the window and print the form later. You'll also receive an email with the same form. In order to complete your registration, you must print this form, fill it out, and then mail it to Office of the City Register, 66 John Street, 13th Floor, New York, New York, 10038. Once your paper registration form is received by the Office of the City Register, your request will be approved, and then you'll receive an email confirming you're registered for e-submission. How to submit documents. We'll assume you already know how to create e-tax forms and cover pages in preparation for submission. Therefore, we'll cover in detail the new e-submission steps, the upload process, the preview process, the payment process, and the actual submission process, where the documents are transmitted to the Office of the City Register. Cover page data entry process. To start the e-submission process, create your cover page and enter all the necessary information. If you've created tax forms and cover pages previously on ACRIS, this will be familiar to you as the process hasn't changed. What has changed is now you can select either electronic submission or paper submission after clicking new cover page on the ACRIS tax forms cover page menu screen. If you're doing e-submission, click OK to create a cover page. At this point, if you'd like to continue making paper submissions for some documents, you can do so by clicking Cancel to create a cover page for paper submission. Note that for e-submission, if your document is rejected, you can only resubmit it electronically. Similarly, for paper submission, if your document is rejected, you can only resubmit the original paper. The New Upload tab. If you elect to submit your documents electronically, the New Upload tab replaces the Print tab in ACRIS cover page. This new tab provides the screen to upload PDF files of documents that you created earlier. We'll discuss this more in the upcoming Document Preparation and Scanning Process step. The Upload tab remains disabled until all the other tabs are completed. This tab also provides a checklist for any associated supporting documentation and tax forms and the order in which the documents are required to be submitted. In our example, we'll be referring to a deed document, as a deed requires supporting documents and tax forms, so it'll have the maximum of four section checklists. Documentation, preparation, and scanning process. For each document you plan to submit, you'll need to prepare and scan the document plus any associated supporting documentation and tax forms. 
The type of document you intend to submit will determine how the pages of the document should be organized and if any supporting documentation and or tax forms need to be scanned with the document. For a deed submission, group the document pages and associated supporting paperwork into as many as four categories. One, the deed document to be recorded. Two, the supporting public documentation which includes your DEP water and sewer form, your RP5217 real property transfer report, and your smoke detector affidavit. Three, the signed and notarized signature pages for the NYC real property transfer tax form, along with supporting documents associated with this form such as an HPD affidavit, contract of sale, power of attorney, and or affidavit of missing social security number if necessary. Four, the signed signature pages of your NYS RETT, the New York State Transfer Tax Form, TP584, along with any supporting documents associated with it, such as your IT2663, non-resident real property estimated income tax payment form, or IT2664, non-resident cooperative unit estimated income tax payment form, if necessary. Then simply upload the deed, supporting documentation, the RPTT signature pages with required documentation, and the RETT signature pages with required documentation. Scan these four groups of pages into your computer. Then save these four groups of scan pages as PDFs. We recommend that you label the PDFs clearly so you'll know exactly which document it is. For example, if it is the Smith file, label it Smith Deed, etc. This way, once you create the cover page, you'll know that you're looking for the Smith Deed. The upload process. It's best to work on one document at a time, because once you hit submit, there's no way to stop it if you submit the wrong document. You'll just have to wait for everything to go through. Perform the upload process once all the other tabs are completed. Remember, there are four sections here. The deed, the supporting documents, the RPTT, and the RETT. When uploading a deed document, go to the Browse button. Pick your PDF for your deed, upload your PDF, then you'll get a check mark. It'll be the same for the supporting documents, the RPTT and the RETT. Down below is the document checklist, which tells you what you need to upload for each section. The preview process. The preview process is very important. Preview all of your submissions carefully to make certain that each PDF has been uploaded correctly, or else the documents will be rejected. For example, make sure the PDFs are not uploaded backwards or sideways, that they're clear and legible, especially the notary stamp and signatures. This screen walks you through the preview process. Scroll down and review the left side of your computer screen. Make sure that your cover pages match your PDF and the deed matches the cover page for the PDF that you are uploading. The payment process. Once you've uploaded and previewed all of your documents in the transaction, the next step is the payment process. You'll have to submit your payment electronically. This screen shows you where to click and submit your e-payment which then leads you to the payment process screen. Once your payment has been entered, click OK. You can pay with a credit card, debit card, or an e-check, which is simply a paper check that has had the routing, account, and check numbers entered into the Acris payment screen. Please note that a surcharge exists when paying by credit card. When entering an e-check, make sure you enter the correct routing and checking account number. If either is incorrect, the bank will not honor the check, and you'll be placed on the restricted payment list. Submission process. Click Submit Documents electronically once the payments have been made. Keep in mind that even though you've made the payment, it doesn't mean you're finished with the process. Now you need to click Submit the Documents in the transaction for them to be transmitted to the Office of the City Register for review. Here's where you submit your documents electronically. Hit the button labeled Submit Document Electronically. Then you'll receive confirmation that your documents have been submitted along with the transaction ID number, the date, and the time. We strongly suggest at this step that you print your transaction number page for your records. 
This will help you keep track of this transaction. What happens after submission? After the submission, your document image will be transmitted electronically to the city register for it to be reviewed by an examiner. Once it's reviewed and the documents are recorded, you'll receive a letter stating that your documents have been recorded, along with the recording and endorsement cover pages. If the documents have been rejected, you'll receive a rejection letter indicating the reason for the rejection. The advantage of e-submission is if your documents are rejected, you can immediately correct and resubmit them, and they'll go back to an examiner in the order in which they were received the first time. For example, if your submission is rejected and you correct and resubmit on the same day, it could still be recorded on that day. Tips and suggestions. Proofreading is very important in electronically submitting a document. One misspelling of one word can be the reason your document gets rejected. Make sure to complete the scanning process one document at a time, label each document, and then upload it. It's very important that each page to any document submitted is uploaded in the order it needs to be in. For example, if you submit a document with the wrong cover page, there's no way of stopping that document from being processed and it will be rejected. So remember, completing the checklist on the left-hand side of the screen will ensure that your document is complete. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please contact the City Register at nyc.gov contact CR.